Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Why not mix it up, right? We played as Blue Baby last time, we'll play as Eve this time. For once, it actually feels refreshing. I played as Blue Baby last time, and I can't say with any kind of authority that I lost the last run because I did not get the Polaroid. I lost because of my own stupidity, but it was kind of a fun loss, if I do say so myself. I probably should not have picked up that Spirit Heart. I should have gone through the self-sacrifice room. Uh, saw what they had inside of that, and then picked up the Spirit Heart later after I replenished my Red Hearts. But it's okay, we'll just avoid the self-sacrifice room for now. Holy Water is showing up constantly. Now the reason I'm kind of, I'm taking some opportunity now before the update that will fix the Polaroid, which is apparently imminent, I know I say that every single time, but recall that I record, you know, several of these videos on a daily basis, so it might just be, you know, if you're watching this and it's episode like, 251? It's actually only going to be like 240-something, probably. 230-something, actually. But anyway, I'm uh, getting into mundane details here. I might have recorded 237 on the same day as like 232, so... Forgive my lack of... Uh, insight, or I guess progress in terms of... <laughs> seriously? In terms of like the development of my, my Isaac knowledge on a meta level. Like when the updates are coming, what the updates are going to contain, stuff like that. But actually, 237, 235... Or sorry, 237, 232, probably not recorded on the same day, because my lead time is much, much lower now than it used to be. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is, while we're, uh, you know, waiting for that Polaroid update to come, I'm just going to have some fun enjoying the game. It's still frustrating when the Polaroid doesn't come, I mean, there's nothing that can, that can change about that. Uh, but it's a good opportunity for me to revisit these characters who I actually kind of really dislike, <laughs> and by uh, playing as them, maybe get a little bit better, you know. Eve is one of those characters where I just kind of beat the game with her and was like, good, now I never have to touch Eve again. But now I want to touch her all night long, where I kind of have to. This is going to be a long fight. So I've heard that uh, Dead Bird has actually been buffed a little bit, which is awesome. Because previously, that has been a terrible item. If Monstro does not drop some kind of damage upgrade or tears upgrade, we are going to be in for a long fucking run. Of course, we get like the high HP champion version of Monstro on the run where I'm playing as Eve with default damage. I mean, I could easily take a little bit of damage and speed this fight along a little bit. You know, lose half a Spirit Heart, get that Holy Water that will probably do a decent amount of ja damage. And the Dead Bird, which may or may not be effective at all, but... You know, that's not really my playstyle, so I'm gonna keep this up. Hopefully we'll come across some bombs or something on the way. And we are finally very nearly done here. Thank the Lord. We get the Coin Purse. This could make or break us. Let's see if this Red Pill is good. Telepills may or may not be good. Uh, what we're going to do is... Here's my thinking now. We'll save that other telepills pill for last, just in case we do get the I am error room. We'll take this green one. You never know if this is going to be like explosive diarrhea. Sorry, that's not green. That's totally orange. Bad trip. That sucks. Uh, well, we know not to take that one in the future. Then we'll take the white one. We'll go out here. I'm trying to use this to like access this chest right here. Just in case it was explosive diarrhea. And a speed upgrade. And then another telepills. Yeah, there we go. So that basically got us a health upgrade. That's cool. Absolutely no complaints there. We lost a spirit heart, but we essentially traded a spirit heart for a health upgrade and a speed upgrade, which is an okay trade. Of course, spirit heart's valuable as Eve if you want to stay in that permanent curse state, but I don't, you know, have that kind of ability right now, so we'll just stick with what we're doing. I think that worked out okay. Again, uh, oh god, I'm getting trapped in here. Oh, I kind of knew that was going to happen. But again, red hearts, no big deal. If it's Spirit Hearts, it, it hurts a little bit more because you can't replenish those easily. But with Red Hearts, ah man, Red Hearts drop all the time. Red Hearts never change. We do have enough keys to go to the shop here. Uh, I'm really on the lookout for damage upgrades. I think that's, you know, by and large what I'm going to need the most if I'm going to make this run successful. But other than that, he was just kind of like a blank slate. We could also do, you know, a Book of Revelations, Relic, Mitre, Nail style, Permanent Curse State build. Or, you know, I guess we'll see what we, what we come across anyway. 10 extra bombs is awesome, because I was running low on those. For once, the game appears to have given me exactly what I needed. We'll definitely use one bomb to get one bomb here. Because we may actually get something else out of this poop. And I've started shooting poop and fires a lot more recently. Because I kind of feel like I need every advantage that I can possibly get. Nothing there. Well, we'll continue going here and seeing if maybe we come across another possible secret room location. I guess there's a few now. We'll go to the mob trap room as well, if we get a half hard drop at some point. Sadly, not yet. Maybe one right here, in our secret room? Yes, fantastic. Uh, that's not so bad, we picked up a few cents as a result of that. Could make the shop worthwhile if we found like another, f I guess, seven cents. That's probably unlikely, we'll probably just move on from here and fight the boss. But if we do get a red hard drop, 
Of course, after saying that red heart drops happen often all the time, uh, I never get one. But we're still doing okay. The only reason that's bad when you don't have a lot of health is Eve is because we kind of, you know, as Ed mentioned in the co-commentary we did, that is something you want a lot of the time. You want a lot of health so you can take damage and thus make yourself a little bit more deadly to the enemy. So we got another pill here. Bombs are key. Not sure how I feel about that. Well, we might as well go check out the shop now. We have a 9 volt in here. And beyond that, we have another pill. Another telepills. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fight the boss, we'll take the telepills and see what happens. Uh, there was almost no danger of us getting, like, Pageant Boy or something, and then Pageant Boy uh, giving us enough money to buy the 9 volts. so I don't feel... Oh, never mind. <laughs> we still might not get the other two cents that we would have needed to make this happen in order to buy the, uh, the 9 volts. so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. We know exactly what we're gonna get as a result of this. I am gonna put a bomb down here, which is gonna give me more bombs, which is awesome, and of course the Spirit Heart, which is really what I was after. But more bombs is nice as well. So we will get another... Semi-useless creature following us around. Like I said, Famine just shows up constantly now on these first few floors. I'm not sure what's up with that. And we desperately, desperately need some kind of damage upgrade if we are going to continue, you know, having a good chance here. I feel like we're in for like an hour-long run. Simply as a result of the lack of damage that I am doing here. Oh, get out of the way. That was not good. But I did manage to get the Grandfather Fly within the way of that shot, which is pretty much my main tactic for doing this fight when you have almost no damage to your own name. Come on. He's got to be very near to... There we go. That doesn't necessarily speed up the process at all, but it does indicate that we are making progress. And hopefully we will save our progress as well. Come on. We can do this circular dodge and dance all day long, man. And one more set of that. Ah, of course I take damage right at the very end. But I picked up a uh, extra spirit heart as well. Brimstone for two. I think that is a no-brainer in spite of my relative lack of health right now. The telepills out. We got a secret room, which contains Guppy's tail. That's cool. We got a lot of keys. We can make that work. And now that we have full health, we can actually go back here and check out the mob trap room. If we just lose half of a red heart, we can be in permanent curse state with Brimstone, which would be awesome. But I don't want to lose the spirit hearts to make that happen. And of course, Brimstone does scale with damage. So as you can see, we are doing pretty horrible damage with Brimstone right now. And it seems like the Brimstone is not staying out as long as it used to. Am I correct in that assumption? Is it possible that maybe a tears up a tears upgrade for Brimstone actually causes it to last longer? I don't know, I've, I've never thought about that, but maybe it's just been nerfed without my knowing. And we definitely would have had enough to get the 9 volt as well, which makes me an idiot. We've been to this secret room, we've been to that secret room. Um, let's just go down to the next floor. 9 volt would be a great item to pick up, but it's not worth whatever I would do to risk it. Like, going to that self-sacrifice room, I guess, would be what I would do. But hey, we got Guppy's Tail. It means a lot of golden chests, which is great. I have a lot of keys. Don't have a lot of bombs uh, with which to access said golden chests. But hopefully not a lot of them get behind the uh, walls where I would need to bomb. We desperately still need some damage upgrades if we are going to make this Brimstone run work. Oh, man. I did not think about that. Look at it, we're not even killing these guys in one hit. In fact, it might even be nearly impossible for us to kill them. There we go. It's gonna take us three brimstone shots. Possibly even more. We need tears or damage upgrades. ASAP. Red hearts are fine too, now that I don't really need them. Okay, I'm just gonna keep our distance here. Spider's always a problem when you have brimstone. Especially when it's charging as slow as my brimstone currently. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, I can't lose like this. Just kill the nub, that's the most important thing. These things only do half a heart of damage. Okay, we need some crazy damage and health. This will be a disappointing run otherwise. Okay, the key's nice, the money's nice, I can go to the shop, maybe buy some spirit hearts. Remote detonator is terrible, except for the fact that it gives me extra bombs as well. But, we'll keep on... Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that I needed to use the remote detonator to set it off. We'll keep on keeping on, we got money to make the shop worthwhile. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna give it our damnedest. It's gonna cost me two bombs. Well, let's first see if we can actually do this. Oh, right. Okay, yes, we can. Uh, so I'll use two bombs to get to this golden chest. We'll get unlimited keys, there was a spirit heart, there were more bombs in that, that was actually awesome. Uh, I kind of did not expect that. 
but still desperately damage. Uh, this is the worst damaging brimstone I think I've ever had in my entire Binding of Isaac career. Yes, we know that the secret room is there already. Uh, actually get some kills here, that would be good. Rage would be fine, I would settle for that. Unlimited keys plus Guppy's paw, or sorry, plus Guppy's tail is a great kind of synergy that we've got going on here. But I don't know if any people here reasonably expect this run to last too much longer, given the circumstances I'm in right now. We'll see what happens on this boss fight. That's gonna be that's gonna be important. And the shop, which will probably be greed if you know previous theories hold. Okay, we've got notched axe. Don't want. Uh, we've got a bomb and a spirit heart, which I will buy. And otherwise, we'll just continue exploring everything that we come across here. Notched axe is okay, I guess. I kind of dislike it though. Uh, if you have, like, more than zero bombs, Notched Axe is kind of not worth it, I feel. If you have zero bombs, by all means, pick up Notched Axe. It can really help you out in, like, a, a situation where you're Eve and you need some spirit hearts, but you don't have any bombs with which to break tinted rocks. But we're not really in that situation right now. We're doing alright on bombs. Remote Detonator is not necessarily better. Ah, we probably don't even need to go in there. I'm wary about going into... Oh, that's actually really bad. We're gonna put some bombs around the level and try to use these to potentially do some damage at some point. There we go. That killed part of Ultra Pride. We'll get the left hand as a result of this. I'm not gonna pick it up. I know that sounds like I'm a huge idiot, but the reason I'm not gonna pick it up is because I want to maintain Guppy's tail, which gives us the golden chests, which I think are more valuable than the red chests usually. Although sometimes, you know, the red chests do have their place as well. For example, a, uh, you know, getting to a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel room. Don't shoot your creep at me, Ultra Pride. I don't want to deal with this right now. Seriously? You're not dead yet? You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Can we get, like, one more? There we go. Thanks for the left hand. Uh, maybe I'm an idiot for leaving that back there, but I don't really care. We're gonna continue onwards here and fight whoever our boss is. If I, ha if I have to use bombs, I'll use bombs. And I just pray that it is not, like, Little Chad or something. Because... That would be basically useless for me right now. Damage upgrades, health upgrades. That's all I want right now. Alright, this guy is actually fairly easy for us uh, with the upgrades that we have, I feel. Okay, good. I do have enough damage to kill spiders in one shot. That, that's a deal breaker for me. If I didn't. Gonna keep this up. This is certainly not an easy boss fight necessarily. I mean, Brimstone obviously makes it easier. But. Ooh, ah, that's bad dodging, of course. Thanks for the dead bird. And of course, we can't even enter permanent curse state without taking a little bit more damage. Okay, 8 ball tears upgrade. That's fine. That's something. Wheel of Fortune could be cool. Krampus? <laughs> Can I? Um. Cool, uh, let's use the nail right away. And blow up this slot machine. I'm pretty confused about my place in the Binding of Isaac right now, but let's head down to the next floor. 9 volt is starting to feel like it would have been pretty awesome right now. That health upgrade is good too. Oh, it doesn't even do anything for us. Cool. Yeah, pretty confused about what's going on here, but I'm just going to roll with it. That might end up being the title of the episode. Just roll with it. We're still not doing that much damage, honestly, even despite the fact that we're in a permanent curse state. And I'm pretty sure we'll die once we pick up, or once we get hit. At least once we get down to zero hearts. I don't know. This is weird. Are you telling me that there was a glitch in the Binding of Isaac? I find that hard to believe. More keys, more money. Still ticking here. I mean, if I could get the nail to amass some spirit hearts... This would be a weird run to succeed on, like if I got the Polaroid and then managed to beat the chest with E. I would always feel like like at some point I had I'd glitched the system. Whatever! The system's glitched me enough times. <laughs> Compass, for sure. Pill, why not? So that's bad trip slash full health. I don't even know what that will do at this point. We're in such a weird state. Alright, uh, I thought that was gonna kill me, actually. But here I am, still alive. Yeah, full full health! I took that, it does absolutely nothing. 
This is an unusual set of circumstances I find myself in. Brother Bobby, alright. Do some extra damage, that's nice. I appreciate that. And the fortune teller was actually exactly what I wanted from this. Please pay out with spirit hearts. I don't give a shit about the Polaroid right now. Couldn't care less. Alright, Cursed Skull. That's something. I need the spirit hearts more than anything else. Uh, let's blow all this up. Maybe we'll get some extra cash. Yes, indeed we will. I didn't really want to play that dude, but maybe he'll drop some spirit hearts or something. Are we basically like Blue Baby right now? I'm, I'm so confused about what's going on. Like, if I took some more damage, what would happen to me? Am I going to die? Is this going to be the shortest run I've done in a long time? Possibly, certainly one of the weirdest. Uh, okay, well maybe we'll get Fly Love. That would actually be useful. Taking more than my share of damage from flies. Hey, cool beans. Uh, we'll blow up our slot machine here. Maybe we will get a Spirit Heart. Nope, just more money and keys. Can't complain too hard about that, though. Hope to survive at least three more rooms so I can, like, use this nail and stay alive a little bit longer. Green dude's not making it easy, though. That could have easily been, been my end right there. Brother Bobby might have just saved my life. Thank you very much for doing that little bit of extra damage that I needed you to do. One more room, and we will get another nail charge. All right, lucky us. Burt Penny gives us extra bomb drops, which is nice. I can't walk on the spikes. Don't make me do it. Oh, right, the flies don't even hurt me because I have fly love on. That's great. So we got leaper spiders. It's okay. As long as we maintain our distance, we can hit them from afar. Guppy's tail. Could use other items other than bombs or keys, but I do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's go. Let's go up and around here. See what we got going on. Starting to feel a little bit better about our chances, but I, I realize that that cockiness might be unfounded. We have a tinted rock here that could go a long way towards, you know, getting us over that hump where we can start making our own spirit hearts via the nail. Never mind. Could give us a ton of money though, which means the shop's viable on the next floor. And a lot of extra bombs as well. Why not? Greed okay, heads. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, just hide behind this rock. I don't even need to really duck out to shoot them, except when I'm not aiming at them properly. Okay. Open up another golden chest. I, I keep hoping for flying. Guppy's tail has really done well for me so far. Uh, no complaints about that. And I didn't, didn't even have to pay for it. I forget how I got Guppy's tail, actually. The flies can't hurt me, I believe. Maybe the neutral flies can. I better safe than sorry. We'll just at least get rid of that middle one. And then head down into here to fight. Awesome, we're gonna get our second cube of meat. That's actually really good for us. Get an extra familiar, a little bit of extra damage because Brimstone is not cutting it. Especially, it's taking a little bit too long to charge, I feel. Creating kind of a rough situation for me. But it's okay. May even get a deal with the devil here. Not sure what I would do with it. Probably tell him to go fuck himself, I guess, because we don't have enough health to really make that worthwhile. Uh, if it's Krampus, though, cool, we can pop our nail and fight him. Guppy's paw, probably not that useful right now. In fact, neither of these really tickle my fancy. I don't want to press my luck. I think I've already gotten one, like, truly, unbelievably lucky, amazing twist of fate so far. I just, okay, I want to, like, do that, like that. And as a result, we will get one half of a red heart, which I can't even use, and we'll abandon that line for a little bit. Not interested. Oh, God. So I've created a weird situation here. Uh, why can't these things hit me? That is very strange. I don't want to press my luck too much, but I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out, suffice it to say. This extra pill is bombs are key. Not really that useful right now. Who knows? Maybe in the future. Get another couple of keys from this. Seriously... Golden chests normally pay out a little bit better than this. I'm not complaining necessarily about how things have gone so far. I have no idea why these zombie heads can't hit me right now. It's been a very weird run. Yeah, whatever. Just push me around. Well, I will. Well, I will. Okay. So I guess I don't have to fear those guys anymore, which is awesome. I, I hope that carries over in case we end up fighting, like, Mask of Infamy. Maybe nothing could hurt me right now. It seems like every time something touches me, it doesn't do any damage. If so... Awesome. Let me guess, though. I won't get the Polaroid. 
I don't know what's up with this. This glitch seems to happen to me fairly often when I'm playing as Eve. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe it happens to other people on, on other characters, but I like it. So we're going to have Necropolis 1 boss. Yeah, you know what? Let's fight it right away. Probably be better to save the nail. Well, you know, as I said, I hope he carries over to Mask of Infamy. But I... I'm not going to test it, if at all possible. I mean, I have Brimstone, so I don't have to worry about dodging too much for Mask of Infamy, because I can shoot it from wherever. I'm very confused about what's happening in this run. Like, my commentary almost seems like a sham, because, to me at least, because it feels like I am glitching the game or something. I'm not doing it on purpose, I think it just sort of happened. I'm not even doing that well, but I might be invincible. I don't know, 20% odds, who knows. That was super easy. HP upgrade actually gave me something. I don't want it, I kind of want to stay in the permanent curse state, but I guess I am staying in the permanent curse state for whatever reason. I do still have the hooks on top of my head, unless that's from like the mark or the pack that I picked up. I can't remember. Yeah, the, the horns for Horror Babylon are like a little... they're curved. Just the nail, just start amassing spirit hearts here. That did that little damage. I feel like I do less damage than, like, Brother Bobby does. I may have just missed with that Brimstone shot, though. Let's... You know, the sky's not falling yet. But, seriously, that's not very much damage. If I can find a Blood Bank, I would gladly give it half of a Red Heart. But we are not going to find a Blood Bank. Oh, I'm not invincible. Okay, that's good. I, I kind of feel like this is less of a sham now. It's a positive thing. We actually do have to continue to work. I guess my dodging was just so amazing that I thought I had glitched the game. Sad Onion, that's cool. Extra tiers up, that's gonna increase our rate of fire drastically, so I think we have less charge time on Brimstone. It's good, because, I mean, you know, Lord knows we either need more damage or more rapid fire on it, because we're doing, like, jack shit with it right now. Don't want anything to do with that. Kind of assumed that was gonna happen. But Greed's okay. Might give us a great item that we can use on the shop on the next floor. Might just give us a ton of money. Uh, and if nothing else, giving us one-sixth of a nail charge. Every time Greed drops a nickel, feels good. Because it also means, when you have Burnt Penny, he's dropping a ton of bombs. Wow, okay. Sure, why not? I, this is the second time I've gotten Burnt Penny in a row, isn't it? I think so. In both of those situations, I ended up with just crazy levels of bombs. Take this key. We might as well fight our way out of here. Pick up the extra money for kind of a staggering amount of bombs. I don't understand what's up with my brimstone. Like, it just doesn't feel right. Like, sometimes the shots stop halfway. I don't know what's causing it. I don't really care that much as long as it keeps doing what it's designed to do. That was a terrible shot. Oh, and that was a terrible dodge. It's okay, we're certainly in a much better position than I thought we would be in by now. In fact, I was pretty sure that we would just be fucking dead at 24 minutes. I thought I'd be enjoying my weekend, you know, sipping a Mai Tai or something on the beach right now. Instead, here I am, still at the office, trucking away, seeing what I can do. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't look for secret rooms. Why have I not been looking for those forever? Give me Epic Fetus, Fetus in a Jar. Bob's Rotten Head is not really along the same lines. I appreciate it though, um, but we will continue onwards here. We have another entire section of the, the level to go to if we wanted to, and I kind of do want to, to be honest with you. So let's, yeah, do that, and then sneak through the doorway. Really hoping I killed all those dudes in one hit, but I guess we made it work anyway. Picked up a spirit heart, but somehow that poop exploded for no reason. Awesome. So I should just duck in through here, okay. Worked out perfectly. Is it worth... We'll, we'll see if it's worth it. Answer, not really, but we can pick up a bomb anyway. For our troubles. And then it's down to the next floor. I don't know how I feel about this run, to be honest with you. It's been fucking weird. Some straight up eerie in the nana. In the nana. Some straight up eerie in the... <laughs> Take three. Some straight up eerie Indiana. We'll see. I don't know. That's, that's the most salient, interesting commentary I can come up with right now. I don't fucking know. It could be awesome. It could be terrible. We'll see. Watch the video. That's what it's here for. 
Please kill three of them. Oh, or all four of them in one hand. Even better. We got Fortune Teller. We're good. We've got Permanent Curse State. Better. Which is exactly what I was looking for there. Don't want red hearts. Two of spades. Double our keys. Sure, let's pop that right away. Crystal Ball. Shows us the entire map and gives us a trinket or something. Yeah, it gives us like a tarot card or a... Oh, okay. Do we want to... What was the other thing we had? Bombs or key? What? Okay. No, no, okay. Keep the nail. That's what I want. But then also take the judgment card. I've been hearing a lot, Northern Lion, you should take the Judgment card into deals with the Devil Room. Then if you play Judgment and he explodes, he oftentimes explodes into a deal with the Devil item. I will try to remember that in case we... Sure, why not? In case we run into a, a, a deal with the Devil on this floor, which is not out of the question. I think that, that can happen on the, room, or the Depths Part 2. Mom's Bra is a pretty terrible item for us at this point of the game. I'll just explore everything. Trying not to take damage, of course, but also trying to explore everything because I need the Polaroid. Or I need to stop bitching about not getting the Polaroid. I need one of those two things to happen. Got two extra spirit hearts. Fantastic. Nail is recharged, so we'll pop that. No! <laughs> Lost half of that spirit heart already. I thought the nail would give me enough power, but it also canceled my brimstone charge. Oh well. You know, shit happens. We're definitely going to want to go to the shop here. We did just fight Greed on the shop, so we probably will not fight Greed on the shop uh, down this floor. Anyway, I'm hoping that's the case. We won't be able to go to the Mob Trap Room. Might be a blessing in disguise. Speed upgrade is fine, too. I, I don't know why the game is so hesitant to give me damage upgrades right now. Really the one true thing I need. My Eve run. Well, that was pro dodging right there. If in doubt, you know, you're having trouble aiming at things, just walk straight into them. Yeah, it'll do damage to you, but, you know, I'm not made of time here. Apparently, I can go into the mob trap room, despite only having half of a red heart. Oh, that was a bad idea. Well, I suppose I can always go back to the arcade on my way back. And just, uh, get that red heart taken away anyway. Seriously, damage upgrades. I've got one word for you, Benjamin. Damage upgrades. Damage upgrades, sir? Any graduate fans out there? It's a good movie. Great soundtrack as well. Okay, I took a staggering amount of dumb damage on this room. Like I said, maybe it was a blessing in disguise when I thought I couldn't go into the mob trap room. Alas, here we are. Two spirit hearts down. Waiting for a Superman. Let's see if I can just... I want to get a good line on these guys. But I feel like I'm just grazing them with some of these brimstone shots. Unfortunately. How about that? Okay. Extra bombs. Come in handy for the mom's heart boss fight, I suppose. I don't think we're gonna get a deal with the devil. Well, the only thing is, if you blow up judgment, it's much more likely that you are gonna get a deal with the devil. So I guess I could do that, but I don't really have health to give to the devil either, so... You know, we find ourselves in a weird state, don't we? If only I could find a second judgment card or another judgment on one of these floors then everything would be different right now. I will go to the secret room, don't worry your pretty little head about that. I'm probably gonna save my nail charge for use on the boss just to speed that up. It's a tough decision, I'm not gonna lie. Some people might say it's better. Mom's purse, yeah, why not? Uh, some people might say it's better to use it now so then you get more, I didn't wanna buy that. So you get more charges, uh, but if I save it for that mom's boss fight, or mom boss fight, I think I am going to take less damage on that boss fight, which will probably be more valuable than the spirit hearts. I would have gotten what I would, I would get, like another four-sixths of a charge, like two-thirds of a spirit heart. Ah, you know, it's a tough call. I think either, either way is an okay decision, as long as you have your reasons for it. That's quadra shot, right? Or slowing effect. Oh, man, that could be great. Slow effect plus brimstone could be awesome. Uh, especially if I enter the permanent curse state again by going into the arcade here. I'll blow up everything else, and maybe we'll pick up some spirit hearts as a result. So we'll check this bad boy out right here. Okay. Blow up this dude. Pick up the matchstick. Well, we have Mom's Purse. We kind of might as well. This is going to give us crazy bomb drops. Not that we really need them at all at this point. Uh, and we'll just keep moving onwards here. I don't even know. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Maybe awesome. Maybe horrible. Let's blow this up. Got a spirit heart out of it and made sure to avoid the red heart as well, which is really more what I was concerned about. Slowing effect on Brimstone is a, a nice touch. 
Quadrashot would have been cool too. This might actually be better, but Quadrashot would be cool too. Because uh, it would give Brimstone like four times the damage. It would take four times the amount of time to charge as well. Cool. Okay, so let's go on. We'll pop our nail. We'll fight the boss here. No rocks in the middle of this level, which is kind of weird. I kind of want like a rage drop now. I feel like I can kill small enemies easily, but the larger enemies are taking me too many shots to, for this run to be super effective. So if I had rage, I could like focus on a couple of flies or something. Worry less about the later enemies. But anyway, this is fine. We're doing okay. If I told you I got like slowing effect, permanent curse state, brimstone, you would probably think it was one of the greatest runs I've ever had. But for some reason, I guess just sheer lack of base damage. Uh, we're just we're not quite in like god tier territory yet. But, you know, a couple more decent upgrades we could get there. The slowing effect on Brimstone is really nice, I can't deny that. That is... It's gonna pay for itself. I mean, we didn't really pay that much for it, we just found the secret room. We didn't even find the secret room, really, I guess the... Secret room was found for us by the other thing, the, the fortune teller. Alright, what do we have here? We have bombs or key. We got money, we got spirit hearts, we got tons of bombs. Unlimited keys, which we can't even use. A tarot card for strength. Okay, so what we're gonna do... We also have the cancer trinket, which I want to make sure to take. We'll take that, and we'll take the Burnt Penny as well. Uh, so I'll pop Judgment. It's not a Demon Judgment, which is great. We'll start playing him, like a fiddle. And we will play it, we'll take the Ooh, that's awesome. Although it is gonna put me out of permanent curse state, unfortunately. Uh, and we will, um, carry that Strength card down to the next floor. Don't blow up Judgment, thank you. Yeah, we'll carry Strength card down to the next floor. We might be able to use that effectively. The ladder's okay. Bombs are key pill. Uh, is not very useful right now. But hey, here we go. Hopefully I'll find an arcade or something on this floor. Why can I see everything? I, did I buy the compass? I must have bought the compass. Totally forgot about that. This is a better question. Why am I just fighting greed for no reason? Oh well. Perhaps he will drop something useful for us. Go. A little bit more of this. More of that. And one more should do it. Maybe two more. That wasn't fully charged. The extra money is probably worthless, but it will drop more bombs for us. Never know, could come in handy on the mom boss fight. Maybe we'll mix this up a little bit, go to go to Shoal, fight Satan. It's been a while. So let's, let's do what we used to do. We basically bum rush the, to the end of the womb. I remember those days. Remember back when you could rely on beating the Binding of Isaac? Just on your own skill and the luck of your items. You didn't have to worry so much about getting this one item that unlocked the very last level. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. What is that? These things are moving very strangely. They're also taking way too much damage to hit for my taste. These diglets are going to take forever to kill. That is going to be a problem for me. The spiders will be gone soon. No, one more dead. Diglets should be like a one brimstone max type of enemy. So this should indicate to you my damage right now. I'm not picking up the health, by the way, because I want to uh, pick up... Or I want to be in permanent curse state. Having an extra heart and a half for red hearts doesn't really appeal to me that much. And I have enough spirit hearts to, to go on my way. Emperor is a good card. Uh, what we're going to do, fight the boss with the strength card out, and then we'll take the Emperor down to the next floor. We have Teratoma. Hopefully this isn't a huge deal. Teratoma creates spiders, and Brimstone pretty much tears through spiders. This thing takes a lot of heat though, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. I didn't realize it had so much HP. Something's weird about this run. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> it feels, ever since I, I had zero hearts but lived, it feels like something about this run has been like fundamentally off. That might just be me projecting or something. I don't know. Kill the last spider. And then the last Teratoma. That went well. We do have the opportunity for a deal with the devil. Kind of hope it's Krampus at this point, or, I don't know, just insane damage for spirit hearts. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? This is good. Because this will give us the ability to fly, and we should enter permanent curse state again. Cool beans. Uh, and we'll hold on to our Emperor card, take that immediately down to the next floor. I think we got great chances of success here. Why not go to the boss room? Should have used the nail in that room, but it's all good. Tammy's head, not that valuable to me. 
I don't want the I want the tears upgrade, but I don't want. Oh, but there's an arcade on this floor. Okay, so we can take this. Uh, we can do that. We can pop the nail here. This is the boss trap room, so we only have to fight two bosses, which is good. Or I could just use the Emperor card immediately after this. Get the hell out of here. But I don't want to do that. I, I still kind of want to go to the Polaroid. Like, it would be... A, go for the Polaroid, I should say. To go to the Cathedral. It would be a shame if I just went to Shoal to prove a point or something. Uh, if this was a run where the Polaroid was going to fall. That would be pretty shitty. Slow him, please. Thank you. Get him to fire his laser continuously, please. Oh, come on. We're going to be here forever. I don't feel like I'm in the permanent curse state. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough damage. To really make this work. If that makes any sense. Like, I'm... For some reason, it just doesn't feel like I'm doing the amount of damage I should be doing for the items that I have. I'm not sure if that's because Eve has low starting base damage, or maybe I've, I've picked up an item that's lowered my damage without me knowing it. If, if that can happen. God, I shouldn't have broken the cycle so early. But, oh my god not dead yet. How is that possible? Its health bar has been empty for like two minutes. Finally, I think Brother Bobby did the dirty work for me on that one. Oh, okay, Dub Duke flies. This should be a no-brainer. Again, great room for rage, but we don't have access to that right now. Spirit of the Night is going to make things a little bit easier for me, but I seriously can't get over. This is like the most neutered brimstone run I've ever had. I need to get up to that arcade. And get my... Oh, I really thought that this would be the way to the arcade. I need to get up to that arcade and get my uh, permanent curse state back. It's the first time I've seen Dead Bird in a while, and didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so we got our damage upgrade. It's something. It's progress. It, it's, it represents a possibility for us to succeed, but the Steven damage upgrade is actually pretty poor, I think. I've been getting a, little, a lot more lately than I, than I used to get it. Uh, but I feel like it's just like one damage up as opposed to like a pentagram or something, which is, is more than that. But it's alright. I'll take that over, you know, whatever else they could have packed into that golden chest. <laughs> Certainly. Holy Water actually did some damage for us there. Which is kind of a rarity. Taking these guys out, we should be able to move forward. Imagine, flying, brimstone, nail run. We're here at 37 minutes, haven't even come close to Mom's heart yet, and I'm wondering if I have the ability to, to beat the game with this. I mean, if it was the old game, I definitely would, because we could beat Satan quite easily, but, you know, Isaac's a little bit of a different story. He takes a lot of hits, he's got a ton of HP. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a doctor too. Let's go up and around. We'll use our nail to amass some more spirit hearts. Hopefully we'll get it back for the Mom's Heart boss fight. Probably not, but, but hopefully. Just fly him over here. Sometimes I forget that I have flying. It's just part of my character, I suppose. 42 bombs uh, if he comes at me. Should just give him one to suck on. And one more, why not? Makes my life way easier. How did I miss with that brimstone shot? There we go. So we will get to the arcade in a second. Extra spirit art is awesome because I am going to be losing some health at the arcade, of course. Just to put myself in permanent curse state. And then we'll really see how much damage we're doing. Because... Uh, that, that's the state I want to stay in for like the rest of the run. No fortune teller. Do I not... Should I not be entering the permanent curse state now? I'm so conf... I, I think I have? I seem bigger? I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Maybe it's not weird, and like I, I just keep saying it's weird, and people are like, oh, come on. This is totally normal. It's the first Brimstone run I've had in a long time where I didn't feel like I was owning ass. Like, even on Brimstone runs where I've lost, it's felt like I don't want that half heart. Or do I want the half heart? Because, like, I can't tell if I'm in the permanent curse state right now. Um, even, like, Brimstone runs where I've lost, I've always felt like... I lost because of a health reason, like, I mean, literally that's how every loss happens, but, uh, as opposed to a damage reason. But now I feel like my main concern is that I don't have enough damage to maybe take out the later bosses in the game, and I'm using Brimstone and the Nail, which is crazy. Uh, let's just fly this guy in some, no, not, ne not necessary. Uh, we got Book of Shadows and Necronomicon, both okay, I've, I've used those recently. We'll go through here. We're gonna fight this dude, Mom's Heart. This dude, Mom's Heart. 
Uh, we got 42 bombs, so that part of it is going to be super easy, even if we didn't have to mess around with it right there. And I think we're doing okay damage. It's, it's not good, but it's solid. The slowing effect is nice. I, I think that's going to help out a lot against Isaac. It really sucks having the Emperor card, but not even wanting to use it. Because, uh, like, it's actually detrimental to us. Because we need to find the Polaroid. I know I said I wasn't going to stress out about the Polaroid. I'm not stressing out about it. it this has been a weird and entertaining and thus a worthwhile run regardless. But I would love to at least get a crack at the chest here, you know? It feels like it's been a while since I actually had that opportunity. I think it has been a while. It's been a few runs. Anyway, Mom's heart very nearly dead. Almost took some damage there. I picked up that half heart because I don't think it really matters. I think half hearts are okay for me. It's only full hearts that would take me out of permanent curse state. If permanent curse state only activated at zero red hearts, then it would be borderline impossible to use. So, we'll make our way down to the boss here. It's very tedious for me to have to go through every single level, or every single room, in order to, uh, you know, scout them out for the one item that I need. I'm gonna try not to complain about it too hard. You know what trinket I would actually really like right now? I'm trying to show my appreciation for it. The tick! I think the tick would be a great trinket right now. Um, take some extra damage off the boss. Give that damage to me in terms of health. Maybe that's that part's not worthwhile. That would actually hurt me right now. But other than that, you know, could be cool. I'm not even stressing out over this damage that I'm taking. Like, that's meaningless to me. But, well, maybe not meaningless, but it, it's not worrying me too much. Oh, God, I took myself out of the permanent curse state. Well, now I would really love the tick trinket. Because <laughs> why the hell not? This is absolutely the way to the boss. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the entire floor. Maybe we'll find the Polaroid. Probably not, but maybe. And if we do, then I can use the Emperor card to immediately go to the boss without having to do any, like, tracking or anything like that. So right now we're just exploring every single room that we come across. For the odd chance that there is a Polaroid trinket, but more so that people don't yell at me in the comments, it could have been in that room you didn't go to. I mean, people are already saying that with, like, secret second secret rooms. Like, why don't you look for the second secret room? The Polaroid could be in there. Which, maybe this is overreacting, but strikes me as, like, serious blame the victim mentality. Also, I hate this room. Come on, dead bird. Hook me up here. Watch out for that. Okay, we got one more. Two more, maybe. Okay, that was not so bad. What do you got for me? Mob trap room. <sighs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. If we don't find the Polaroid, maybe. But I... <laughs> Does the Polaroid ever show up in regular chests? I've had people tell me yes, but... People tell me lots of things that are not necessarily true. There's the secret room as well, because we know that there's a mini-boss there. I don't want to deal with these bombs. Apparently with the D20, you can reroll live bombs, so if you're fighting against war, uh, that could be a really good opportunity to pick up some good stuff. really want another good run where I have the ability to use the D20 uh, a lot. I've done one like that, and it, it was a great game. Uh, but then I've kind of maybe... I wouldn't say shit-talked, but I've been a little bit down on the D20 since then. So now, like, these rooms should not be taking me this long with the uh, items that I have. Like, it's insanity. I would almost rather just have, like, normal tiers, like Polyphemus instead of Brimstone or something I think would, would hook me up here. But that was like a 30 second room just fighting war. What's this white pill? We've had it before. Speed up. Okay, sure. Why not? We're moving a little faster. A little bit more exploration. That's a shitty room. I don't like anything about that. Or that, but at least they were fast. Around to the left here. That is not an exit. Uh, shears. Nail is better, but I appreciate the, you know, it's the thought that counts. I feel like I've had runs where on the first floor I've been able to kill Widow faster than I'm killing him right now. Five brimstone shots? What am I, Amish? No offense to any Amish people who might be watching this video. I really love Amish YouTube. You know what the uh, you know what the Amish called YouTube? Uh, the the window. <laughs> Get it? Uh, uh, I'm taking some serious dumb damage here. I just want to get out of this room. Uh, why don't we just use some bombs? All right. I didn't want to hit him. I actually just wanted to get the hell out of here. This might be our last room if I continue taking dumb damage like this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, we're gonna get fucked on Isaac regardless, because the dude just takes so much damage. 
And apparently, like, it's damage I can't provide. It reminds me of my last relationship. Okay, so we did manage to kill him. Lost about a uh, hundred thousand spirit hearts there. Why don't I stand on top of the rocks? Oh man, here we go. At least I got a snappy title for this one. I, you know, this is kind of a success. I only expected this run to be like 12 minutes long. So half an hour ago, I was pretty sure this was going to be over any second. Instead, here we are, you know, we've, we've done this crazy odyssey. And we're still kicking it. For better or for worse. Oh, it's the Widow again. Okay, well, you know what? Let's check out whoever we've got in that secret room. It's got to be Greed, I think. Can Greed drop the Polaroid? I don't think so. But, I mean, might as well try, right? We'll see what we got going on in there. Alright, we'll back out. <laughs> uh, I will continue exploring, then I'll use the Emperor card. I want to save my nail for the, the boss fight against... It's going to take forever. Uh, for the boss fight against, you know, dude. That was horrible. At least now we have, like, all of our best abilities taking damage out of him now. Dead birds just kicking around in there. Hit him with some heavy bombs. Getting him with Brimstone. Brimstone's doing like less damage than Dead Bird. This is crazy. I have no idea what's going on. This is Cements Eve, easily, is my least favorite character. Even Blue Baby is better. It's more fun. I think, anyway. Oh, this is a shitty room. This room could be my death, actually. Being 100% honest, would not be surprised if I did not survive through this room. I'm going to try to use the rocks effectively. I think that's important. I didn't know that could fly over the rocks. Have mercy, please. What we got here? Nothing. I kind of have to use the nail, honestly. Strength card? Well, we'll pop the strength card immediately on this room. It's just so we can survive. And then I left the Emperor card in the last room. That was not smart. That was a very poor decision. Reason being... Uh, I could have used the Emperor card now to just pop myself out of this room immediately. Instead, now I find myself in this weird position where I kind of don't understand what rhythm these guys are on. Jesus. Come on. Okay, we've got one dead. Now we can handle it, I think. These guys don't, don't have a lot of HP. They're just annoying. Okay. Blue pill. Could be amazing. Was not amazing. And that's it. We've explored everything. Time to talk to the Emperor. Please, just, just make it quick. How did I hit him with that? So, as you can see, every brimstone that we do takes off about 3% of his health. So all I've got to do is successfully dodge, you know, like 30 barrages of this. Not to mention the angel fetus is coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, well, here we go. It's been fun. Dead bird, maybe you can handle this for me. And I'll just kick back chill somewhere. Ah, there we go. That was a weird run. I don't know what to say. We didn't get the Polaroid. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time, actually.